I'd like to call the uh, May 6th well, we meeting of the Northampton License oh, Commission to order. But All our members are present. We are um, audio and video recording this meeting. Um, and if there's any public comment at this time, if you don't expect to speak later on any other item, uh, any item not on the agenda, seeing none, I'll move on to the uh, first item, uh, application for transfer of special foreign permit. For farm winery, this is uh, Goddard's Red Heart Hand Farm to Goddard's Red Hand Farm LLC. Yes, that's me, Sue Goddard. And we are, Larry at one point was a sole proprietor for the farm. Now we have become an LLC and all the paperwork had to get redone. And we applied to have the transfer done and we're waiting on the paper for the, with a check on make sure I have my passes. Oh, the form 43. Yeah, I don't know what the number's called. Certificate of good standing yeah, that we're waiting for. That's the one. <laughs> and we sent it in almost four weeks ago. We still haven't heard back on it, so Nancy suggested I bring in my bank statements to show that everything, you know, what's going on with the bank statements, but other than that. Have you tried calling the tax rate to say Yeah, it takes four to six weeks, because you have to hand, hand write it and hand mail it. You can't do it online, like everything else you do with them online. So we're still waiting. Well, we could probably deal with this now anyway. Just for well, we approve it provisionally and, uh, you know, to say it's take effect as good as the certificate of good standing is, is provided. Is that a motion? Yes. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yes. Um, did you uh, get, uh, you told the Department of Agriculture too, right? Uh, I believe so. Larry's been doing all that paperwork. Okay. I'm, I'm just here because he's at the farmer's market. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you should probably let them know. It's, we don't need to yeah. or anything back from this. Okay. Let them know that you changed. The name. Okay. No, we actually yeah. didn't really care because then you get to put it on the keep them. Oh, okay. All right. I'll set them. So we're all set. Yeah. Thank you very much. Was there anything I need to to get from you? No, no I, I can't send it in to the ABC team until we get the certificate of good thing. I'll okay. let you know. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thanks a lot. Item uh, number six, application short-term wine and malt license are sent out uh, all the dates through next April. All the participating establishments are listed on the agenda. Penny. Um, hi, I'm Penny Burke, Director of the Center for the Arts with the Fiscal Sponsors for Arts Night Out. Um, there's one correction, which I, I hadn't seen the agenda that's closed, but it actually should include the date May 13th, 2016, which is on the application, but it's not on your agenda. Okay. Do you need a copy of that? Do you have that? Okay, um, we applied for the May this year. I'm sorry, June of this year through May of next year. Okay, so May, I, the copy that I had didn't have any dates on it, so I just hand wrote them in. Can I keep that? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, okay, so uh, we have our six million dollar fee, and uh, the um, so we're, we will continue the policy we've had for the insurance and uh, survey. Waiving the usual requirements for that. Any anything new and different? Anything There's new nothing out? different. It's exactly the same as what we've done before. It's the second Friday. The times are 5 to 8 p.m. and there are a variety of venues. Many of them actually don't serve any wine. You know, they don't do it every month. But we just apply for the wine that license in case they want to do it two or three times a year. And as usual, when the um do this just uh, since these people aren't familiar with service of alcohol, just tell them to watch out for, for minors. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, any questions? I'll make a motion then uh, to approve the uh, Arts Night Out licenses with the uh, uh, single six million dollar fee. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. So, do you want me to get those tomorrow? No. Should I pick them up? Sure. Okay. Thank well, you. I can get them to you. No, that's okay. okay. Nice weather. I'll take one. Okay, I'm number seven. I'm short-term wine and malt. 
liquor license. Uh, in detail, we went to Jackson Connor, the event was the Best Buddies Fashion Show. And this was on April 16th. Hi, Will. Hi. Um, How are you? Good. Uh, so you already had the event, and we are approving it retroactively. Yes, indeed. You were very, uh, very generous and thoughtful enough to approve it retroactively and uh, help me out with that. Well, this may be the fourth or fifth year that Jackson Connor has done this. So. Actually, I think it was the sixth year. Okay. But, yeah. Okay. Great event. Um, and we have every intention of doing it next year. I'll just make sure that everything's done on time instead. All right. Uh, no, 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 no problems here. Um, any questions for that? No. Uh, take a motion to approve this uh, uh, Okay. Um, I think we should uh, approve the uh, best buddies. The Putty's Fashion Show at Jackson Pond. Good. Second. All in favor. Aye. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Item number eight, application for charity wine license, friend of the library. Um, this is an event on Friday, September 25th. Hi. Hi. Uh, your kit, right? Hey. Okay, thank you, Dory. Um, so tell us what the event is. Well, it's a fundraiser for the Friends of Forbes, which will benefit Forbes Library itself. Um, it's one of our larger fundraisers, and we have made money off it in the past year. And Cindy, I was told that um, Serena didn't know if you had the hours, 6 to 8, or if you needed them. Thank you. 6 to 8, okay. Um, any questions for the story? No, I just wanted to know if the 4 and 43 is the... That's right, in front of the head. You just need one second. Yeah. Okay, oh, um, vote on that. I'm fine with one second. Oh, okay. Uh, do you need a separate vote for that? For okay. All right, um, I'll make a motion to approve this application for the Cherry Wine License for Friday, September 25th. And uh, the uh, 443, uh, Approval too, which I'm sign if, if we agree. Motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Do I need to pick up any papers? I don't have that ready yet. I'll have to call. Give me. Okay. I'll call or email you. Okay. When Fine. It's ready. Thank you. Okay. Yep. <laughs> uh, item number nine, application. Uh, with the license to sell farmers markets. Uh, order at LLC doing business at Warner Vineyards. Uh, this is the Florence Farmers Market, and that's the um, Wednesday market, right? That's correct. Uh, and uh, could you just identify yourself for the record? So, my name is Bobby Cannon, and I'm the co owner of Mount Warner Vineyards. And we're applying for the license. Um, we're going to be hopefully to fill in when, when um, Mineral Hills is not there. They're doing the first half of the season now. We've gotten approved um, by the market. To, they're going to be there to uh, August 12th, and then we would pick up after that and then fill in any dates that they might not be there. So you wouldn't be there necessarily all the Wednesday markets? Correct. Just fill in when they Yes, but from the 19th of August on until the end of the market. I see. And you have your MDAR, I see. And this is. I have my checkbook with me. I don't see a checkbook. Yeah, that's why I'm. Why oh, okay, I'll, I'll write it now. You know if it was before or after. Uh, it was that's 50. Yeah, I'll, I'll write it now. Um, I'm oh, sorry, this is a, uh, this is a wine, this is sort of a farm winery license. Okay, so this should read farm winery license. Oh, sorry. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, so, uh, I'll take a motion to approve the uh, farmer license sale for farmer winery uh, provisions of agricultural law. I'll so move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. And I'm sorry. Uh, can I manage for these 
Thank you. Um, item number 10, application for Dr. Moyne Mullen. Liquor license, Greater East Hampton, not Chamber of Commerce, for a fundraiser on Island Road. East Hampton Chamber of Commerce is coming to Island Road. Could you identify yourself for that? <clears throat> I'm Mo Bellabo. I'm the Executive Director of the Greater East Hampton Chamber of Commerce. And I'm here before you today to request a short-term um, malt and wine license for our um, fundraiser on the Chamber Beach Ball, which will be held at <clears throat> Mosco uh, Marine. The actual event takes place from 5 to 10, but I've put on the application uh, 4 to 11 to allow for setup and takedown. I don't know if that was necessary or not, but, um, and the event itself is, um, something a little bit in between a gala and a beach party, so it would be not quite as formal, but not quite as relaxed as a beach party. We'll be having dinner, roast beef dinner, um, silent auctions, music and dancing, and beer and wine supplied by Mineral Coast Marine and Port Coast Blue. Where will the uh, service of alcohol take place? Where? Yeah. At the event? Yeah. Uh, will it be right? Just, just describe this. I, I can read the marina. It will be right on the um, the event taking place right on that um, peninsula, which mm -hmm. kind of just out to the Oxbow. So that's where it will be. Maybe, will, you, will you have a separate tent, or will it be part of the dinner service? Or it, no, it will be a separate. It will be separate from dinner. Mm -hmm. So it will be a cash bar. Is and um, we have serve safe information on your servers. Yep. Let's see. And the insurance certificate. Okay. And uh, how you'll um, you'll have uh, um, the ability to monitor um, underage um, attendees. Yes, this is primarily an adult event, so yeah, it'll be yeah. yeah. All right. Um, any questions? Mm -hmm. Oh, do we have the fee yet? No, I think I'll get that in the Okay, okay, all right, no worries. I would like to approve this application for short term one and all the way. Second. Oops, sorry, I couldn't answer in a second. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, thanks a lot. I did see the I'm sure you did. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. So, I'm sorry, it's one question. Um, I don't normally have two clients every Okay, but I don't know that's why. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Uh, item number 11, application for class 2 car dealership, all things are car on 210 Damon Road. Um, hi, can you, you identify yourself for the record? I'm Robert Anderson. Okay. Uh, I'm Bob. Okay. And uh, you're um, putting this up, is this the one that used to be unique? Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, tell us what you're going to be doing there. Uh, what, uh, uh, selling, repairing, storing just cars. Just um, um, the only difference is the pricing. We have below ten thousand. We need to have a few cars that are above, mm -hmm. but no storing or uh, repair. Mm -hmm. uh, so you won't have any, any repair cars or anything like that on the lot. How much volume do you expect? How much inventory do you expect to have? We're gradually growing into the maximum probably twenty-five cars. I know we carry a lot more, mm -hmm. but um. Right, right now, solar will be in maybe six, ten cars to start off, and just gradually scroll over here, going to the next year. And um, we have all the uh, business documents, I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the zoning uh, permit. Did you have to go to the zoning board for that? They did. Okay. Even though there had been a previous class well, two. Because there was a right of way issue, so we actually worked that Oh, okay. But this is this is the same use as it was before. Yeah. So, um, do you have any questions for Mr. Henderson, Mr. Mm -hmm. okay, um, then I'll make a motion we approve this application for class two car dealership. Uh, I'll second. 
All in favor? Aye. Okay, thanks a lot. to approve this uh, uh, farmer winery license for the Tuesday Farmers Markets behind the doors. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. Do you have this now or no? Okay, item number 15, another farmer winery license for, um, this is for a festival, 2015 Crush Wine Festival in Hampton. There are a whole mess of participating wineries, it looks like, from all over the state. Thank you. So, um, Hello. identify yourself for the record. and I'm Lynn, I'm the director of the Massachusetts Farm Wineries and Growers Association, and we're organizing the Crush Wine Festival. Um, the wineries that are participating are our member wineries, some of our member wineries. Is this like your major statewide? 
get together for this we sort of thing? We do two. One here in Northampton. Um, in the last few years, it's been called the Taste in Massachusetts Wine Festival and was held at the Northampton Fairgrounds. Mm -hmm. so um, we moved to Look Park this year and changed the name. So we, we, we dealt with this mm -hmm. event before. And um, all the uh, participating wineries listed here have their end art certificates. And, um, there, well, there's one that's pending. Right. Yeah. I see. Okay. That should come in in a matter of a couple of days. They were just a little late getting one. Okay, so this is uh, June 14th at La Park. Uh, tell us uh, how it's been, the event's set up. Uh, Yes, uh, the event will be in the pine section of the park, but not the stone area, actually to the field, if you're looking at it to the left-hand side, there'll be a tent, um, snow fencing all around, so that, that area will be the ticketed wine tasting area. There'll be ID checkers and wristbands for each, there's two tasting sessions, um, so there'll be wristbands for that, um, but it's, it's separate from, we'll have some craft and market vendors mm -hmm. kind of around and some prepared food vendors around the stone. Uh, amphitheater area. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, any questions? No. I'll take a motion to approve the motion to approve the application for Farm Winery with the license to sell at the Crush Wine Festival, June 14, 2015. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for your afternoon. Okay. No, sir. Hi. In the nick of time. Good afternoon. We don't fly, right? So, uh, backing up, uh, you pledge your license. Yeah. Okay. That's the last drop of the log. Sorry? That's the last drop of the log that banks oh, me. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> get, get a little overextended on this, on this deal or what? Yeah, no, it, it's just from the beginning I guess it's supposed to be a so here we are. Okay, so you have pledged it to um, Florence Bank, Bank, Bank and uh, I see the mortgage note is here. Um, Florence here. Uh, we need a check. I think we have all the checks. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. And uh, we have the. Do we have the DOR stuff? Get a good standing. Okay. All right. Do you have anything you want to see on this? That would help. Any questions for me, sir? No. Best of luck. Thank you. Hopefully, this is the last drop you have to do. <laughs> how's, how's it going? Then? Everything is going very well. Yeah, everything is good. People love it, yeah. and um, place look good. And, yeah, a lot of compliments. And for graduation, of course, we are we are sold out. Mm -hmm. And um, now with the Marriott brand, which I'm kind of learning a little bit myself, you know, some of the in and outs of it. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a there are members that they call them elite members. I guess. Every year they have to give like 200, 300 room lines, business to marry up for what? So they become elite. So elite means anytime you want a room, you just call and get it, whether they are sold out or not. So for, oh yeah, yeah. So you call five people? Yeah. For graduation, two people called yesterday. We want a room. For, like tomorrow night is is your last graduation. So anyway, now we are two over, and uh, we booked two rooms, you know, we saved two rooms at the Hotel Northampton to uh, do that. So it just kind of makes it a little bit easier now. Yeah. We have to, but um, that's all it is. So we are learning all of that and so But a lot of good positive feedback though from, from everyone. Yeah. And uh, this is nice. Yeah, everything, everything went very well. I mean, cooperation of everyone. You know, so yeah, this is really well. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Uh, so, Form 43, is that still something you're... Uh, do I am I clutching that here? I think so. I am, yes. Okay, so 
Your motion to approve the uh, pledge of license and the uh, completion of the form 43 here. I'll so move. Uh, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I should stop down there sometime. Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> Thank you. See you later. Happy awesome. graduation. Thank you. <laughs> Second, uh, Aye. 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 A